Good morning, Crossroads. Great to see you this morning. As you can see, I'm in my truck. I'm just about to go into a meeting with uh, Alan and Ron and getting some things figured out for this week. Great huge week coming up this week. Uh, Gold Discovery Days is going on and we will be having a float in that parade. So we'd love for you to come out and cheer and, and uh, let uh, Crossroads be known here in, in Custer. Also, we have our uh, barbecue community coming up and that's this Wednesday like normal. And we'd love to have you there. It's a great time. We're outside. We have burgers. We're fellowshipping together. It's a great time to get together. I did want to lift something out I saw in my devotions this morning with God. I started over with Psalms. I'm more of a Proverbs guy. And so I said, I should go look at some Psalms. And as I was looking in there, I started with chapter one, the very beginning. It's a great place to start. And I love how the psalmist here said, blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seats of scoffers, but his delight is in the law of God. And on his law, he meditates day and night. He is like a, a tree planted by streams of water that yields its fruit in season, and its leaf does not wither. In all that he does, he prospers. The wicked are not so, but they are like chaff that the wind drives away. Therefore, the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will be will perish. You know, I was reading through this and I saw at the very beginning, blessed is the man that walks not in the counsel of the wicked. And I said, well, how is he blessed? How is this person who doesn't walk in the way of the wicked, who doesn't live their his life in the ordinary, in such a way that the wicked live their lives, how is he blessed? And yet it didn't take long. And the psalmist writes there, right in verse three, he's like a tree planted by streams of water. Well, you know, I grew up in Colorado and the trees that are there did not exist when the settlers came across. They planted all those trees. In fact, if you drive through Colorado now, you pretty much see trees only where there is water, whether it's a sprinkler system or there used to be a homestead and a well was dug or there's a river. The only place you see trees are in these places with water. And you know what I noticed about these trees? They need to be trimmed. Yes, but other than needing to be trimmed, they are also usually growing strong because they are right next to water. Have you ever been in the, in the hills and seen a tree that doesn't have a lot of water, maybe it's growing at a crag of a rock? It doesn't look really healthy and strong and growing big. It's, it, it's kind of weak. You know, when we focus on living life how God wants us to live, that we don't live life in the counsel of the wicked, that we take what they say and apply it to our life, but we take what God says and applies it to our life, we will be like a tree that grows up next to the water. It doesn't mean that we won't need to be trimmed. It doesn't mean that there won't be problems in life. It means that we will be way healthier than when we just go off and do what culture says. Anyway, just want to give you a quick uh, time in the word with me. And we will try to do this on a regular basis just so we can connect a little bit and, and draw closer to God. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you soon.